the year 2023 was a huge year for me. Lots of changes, lots of accomplishments, and of course some failures. I'm proud on all the exhibitions I had. In the first five months I had six exhibitions in three countries, five were solo shows, and my work was also presented and also sold at a London Photo Fair and also at a Budapest Art Fair. The, the exhibition in Montserrat, Portugal, was in former church and it was one of my, the highlights of my career. My workshops were visited by participants from all over the world, like from some Sao Paulo, Los Angeles, Johannesburg, Taiwan, and also, and, and also from other corners of Europe. I'm also proud of one more accomplishment. Regular followers will still remember my epic heartbreak, worthy of Greek tragedy in 2022. It took a while, but I've recovered and I'm in a relationship again. Honestly, I try to remain single, but I've grown up in monogamous relationship from age 20 to 41, and I confess, I feel the deep need to be anchored with one woman. Well, she's a wonderful woman and her name is Spila Gornik. By the way, Spila's nickname is Wife. For the past year, I have some regrets. I've neglected a few things and one of them is this cabin. I haven't done almost any repairs. Time to work on that well. I will talk only about myself, but this well is a symbol of my ability to love. My past relationships are like cracks in the wall of the old well. It does not hold water, it leaks. These cracks are a symbol of broken relationship, disappointment, lies, cheating and other painful experiences. A broken relationship hurts, love hurts. If we want to heal, we, we cannot run away. We need to return to the essence of our being. We have to drill on it and the truth is that it hurts even more at that moment. When in, when in pain, it's natural that we want it to stop. When in the grip of the pain, the last thing we want is to clean it, disinfect it, wrap it, and heal it. And it heals damn slowly. To make things worse, the alternatives to the pain are always within our reach, either in intoxicating substances or in lifestyle. Or in the bodies of lovers. Everyone would like the pain to go away, but it doesn't. And sooner or later, the well is drained. Metaphors. Cement, admiration, passion, lust. Rock, emotional baggage from the past relationships. Pebble, lesson learned. Crack, trauma. Water, love. Well, well-being. Cement. I see cement putty as a perfect metaphor of passion, admiration and sexual attraction when falling in love. Instructions are saying cement putty is a strong alkaline binder that causes skin burns if not used properly. Cement putty might fill up small gaps, but for big and deep cracks, that alone is not enough. Rock. Rock is a metaphor for the pain from past relationships. We carry this as our emotional baggage and it is a burden to our current relationship. Pebbles. Pebbles are chipped from a large rock and they represent lessons learned from our past relationships. Crack in the well is causing leaking of water, just like our past trauma is leaking love from our being. We cannot fill the crack in the heart with sexual fantasies, series of rom romantic relationships, adrenaline sports, workaholic lifestyle or other coping mechanisms. A crack needs a firm ceiling not a temporary filling in a form of distractions. Water, well, water is love and well, well is well-being. The connection between our heart and essence is like a well. It serves us faithfully until cracks appear and the water drains away. As long the crack is small and there is a lot of rain, the well holds. But in my case, my well was so cracked that even a monsoon would not fill it. In 2024, I will restore the well and drink water again. Which Bella, my wife.
The project feels like home. I started in year 2016. That was the year where, when my relationship, one 21 years long relationship broke up. Uh, and we sold the house that we built and, you know, I moved out and wherever I went to whatever space I found myself in, I had this ritual of domesticating the space with photography and flower bouquet. That's why the project feels like home. Okay, I don't know about you, but I'm really happy with this carbon print made out of that collodion negative. A new picture from the project feels like home. I really love the, I don't know if you understood from the video, the wind was blowing, so I had to change the frame. Lucky, lucky, lucky enough, a serendipity, because, you know, I had to put, I had to involve this ladders as a main element of my picture and lean this flower against the leather so the, the wind was not blowing so much. I mean, the flowers was not moving so much. And by that, you know, I achieved this vertical. You know, the point of this, uh, and the shaft is open, you know, the shaft is open, the void is there. And, you know, that's the point of the whole video. You know, if you want to deal with your pain, if you want to heal it, you have to dig deeper, you have to open the cracks, you have to, you know, work on it. And uh, this is, and you know, on the top of that, the light catched in this, in this, uh, the top of the video, I mean, the top of the ladders, and they kind of glue, glow, you know, they're kind of glowing and shining, you know, yeah, transcending, transcendence. And in the background, you see this, this house in the background is uh, Hunter's house. And I love it because we are talking feels like home. We are talking about, for me, women, like my wife is a cornerstone, is an anchor of, of home. And that's how I see it. And um, this is what is uh, important. This is, this is a reminiscence. This is kind of like in the background, it feels there. And also this comet here, I didn't like it on the negative, but now I do, you know, because, yeah, we are talking about transcendence. I hope you enjoyed the show. Uh, this was possible due to my patrons who are supporting me. If you like it, please subscribe and, you know, you might buy, um, maybe you want to buy a book of mine. Oops. <laughs> maybe you want to buy a book uh, from me and support this channel by, by purchase or the Sprint. The Sprint is also available. Oh, talking about my patrons. Talking about my patrons, uh, David uh, was, a pa was a patron who was with me for eight years or even more. Um, well, he sent me a message that he, he has to cancel the, the support, which is no problem. I totally understand. I will send you this carbon print, a uh, paper version. Of course, I will put it in matte 
and, uh, and ship it to you. Thank you so much, David. Thank you for, I don't know, 160 patrons that are supporting me and you guys who are buying my work uh, and books and so and watching. Please share it if you think it's good. Thank you so much.